Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start a series called Steal Her Look. This is pretty much kind of self-explanatory. Um, I get inspired by somebody or, um, you know, seasons or whatever. And this is just something I just came up with. Um, I wanted something bronzy and I wanted something that will be really good for summer. And um, obviously this is like a summer birthday dinner. And I am actually went out that night. So let's just get started. Okay, so, so the first thing I'm getting is the Becca Cosmetics um, Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. It's a highlighter collaborator with Jaclyn Hill. As many of you guys know, Jaclyn Hill is a fellow YouTuber here, and I'm pre pretty sure you know about her. And I'm just putting some on my cupid's bow, cheekbones, and the dot of my nose just to bring it forward. And now I'm just getting a little rock behind the scenes eyeshadow primer. And I'm just going to put that all over. Um, I pretty much put primer anywhere where I put my shadow at. On my lid, of course, my tear duct, and my lower lash line. Just because I do put eyeshadow on my lower lash line, so I don't want to neglect that area. Because um, your eye d tends to crease right there the most. Um, so now I'm getting that. Now I'm getting the original Naked palette with the Sigma E40 brush. I'm getting the color Naked. And this is just going to be the transition shade. Um, of everything so it blends a lot easier so I'm just blending 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 and all my face products will be listed down below in case you guys are curious and also I can make a tutorial of how I do my bulletproof like sweat proof uh, foundation routine now I'm getting half baked I'm getting this on the brush that it comes with in the palette and I'm just packing it on my eyelid you can put fix plus to get a more metallic look in case you guys want it more of a foil finish but I was fine with this now I'm getting E40 again and just blend it a little bit more. Now I'm getting a Morphe brush. It's a little tapered go hair brush. And I'm putting um, Buck into the crease. It's a, the dark, that's a darker matte shade. And now I'm getting that color from the original Lorac palette. I really hate jumping from palette to palette. But Lorac had the matte brown I was looking for. So any matte brown will work. And I'm just um, putting that right on top of Buck. Now I'm getting um, Blackout from the um, Naked 2 palette. You can use the original black that comes with the Lorac palette, but um, that one's not as black as I like it to be. It's almost like a black gray. Um, and I'm just putting that on the outer corner and blending it with my E40 again. Now I'm getting um, half-baked again and just packing it right on top just in case I lost some pigmentation when I started blending all the shadows. And blend, blend, blend more. And now, what am I doing now? Oh, now I'm getting Kat Von D um, brown eyeliner. I use brown just because I want to stick with more bronzy colors. I didn't want it too intense or smoky. Um, I still want it like casually, but we um, it was like a dinner type of look. Now I'm getting Venus from the uh, Naked Basics palette. It's the original Naked Basics palette. And putting on my tear duct and my brow bone. I put a little bit of champagne pop um, right on top of it, just but not to cover it. And, you know, adding more highlight, why not? And um, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting my um, naked, sorry, the original naked palette and getting naked and smudging it, uh, the eyeliner out and buck and I'm going to smudge it right on top of it. And this is just going to smoke out everything and make it everything pull together. Okay, now I'm getting Calvin Klein One Mascara. I know it looks kind of weird. I did a review about this a few months ago when it first came out. Actually, it came out last year. I think it came out like last summer. Uh, or for their spring collection. I'm not sure. But um, anyways, so I'm just putting that on my lower lash line. I never really neglect it just because it pretty much ties the whole look together. Not neglecting the lower lash line. And, um, you know, shadow can be on it or whatever. And... Now I'm doing is I'm curling my lashes with um, MAC Eyelash Curler. Any eyelash curler will work. And putting one layer of mascara on my top lashes. Um, just because I don't put, I never put mascara on my falsies just because it cuts the longevity of them. I mean, it does make them blend better. <clears throat> um, but you uh, don't get your full, you know, payoff or money's worth or, you know, any of that when you put uh, mascara on the falsies. Um, it just it just cuts the longevity of them, and now I'm getting the lash glue. I'm using dark adhesive lash glue, um, 
and I'm putting a thin layer around the lash band and a thin even layer in lashes tend to pop out on the corners so I put a little bit more on the ends of each of the bands just because it makes it a little bit more secure and I have used the Revlon lash glue it works amazing but if you get it on your eyelid it's almost impossible for it to get off and um, now I'm just putting this at the base of my lashes I waited for it to get tacky and I'm just adjusting it with my fingers people use different tools they use tweezers or um, a lash like um, utensils but I just found it a little bit easier just to use my nubby fingers because um, I feel like I have the most control out of my fingers and my fingers won't hurt nearly as much as like a tweezer near my eye I feel like and I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye and I pinch my um, lashes with my tweezers sometimes but mainly I just pinch my lashes with my falsies with my fingers just so it blends a lot easier together and just getting and adjusting them. Um, try not to put it too close to the inner corner of your lashes just because it can poke it. Now I'm getting Sephora Lip Cream Stain, I believe it's called. It's number 13. This, the color is called Marvelous Mauve. It's a very, very beautiful color. Um, I love mauve colors. I feel like I can go with anything. If you guys want me to do a tutorial of how to put liquid to matte lipsticks on, I know it's a really good trend right going on right now. I love liquid to matte lipsticks. They've always been my favorite ever since I started wearing makeup. But anyways, um, I am pretty much just sculpting out my lips um, because liquid to matte lipsticks, you really don't need a lip liner. You can use it if you want to do more ombre effects, but if you want the full payoff of the true color of the liquid to matte lipstick, um, you really don't need the lip liner. It just takes a little bit just to sculpt out the lips and um, get the shape that you want. I mean, you can overdraw your lips if you want to. And, you know, just getting the lipstick off my teeth. And, um, yeah, I really love this color. And it does um, smell like vanilla cupcakes type of thing. Um, and now I'm just going to bathe myself in Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. There's D Slick Chill Makeup Setting Spray and All Nighter Setting Spray. I like D Slick just because I am an oily person. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial part. So, Let's get on to the outfit and the shoes. Okay, for the outfit, I got it as Kara, as Kara. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's a romper with a slit down the middle of the chest and the side. I'm sorry, in the middle of the um, top of the stomach right under it. And um, the shoes I got from the same place, it's a nude wedge. But as you can see, there's a slit right in the middle of the chest and the slit across the stomach. It's a really cute romper. I've been loving rompers. Um, I feel like they're a little bit easier than dresses. But um, they're not like, you don't have to wear um, like boxers or anything under them. So, hope you guys enjoy. Bye, guys.